Okay, now it's time to spread out the joint compound. Um, they call it spackling, but you use joint compound. I guess you use spackle for smaller holes. Uh, some people say this is kind of an art to do. I think the better you are at it, the less um, sanding you have to do later. So it's a lot of it's trial and error. But the first thing you got to do is you got to put a lot of mud there so it holds the tape that we're going to use to tape the joints. Take this, we're just going to take a bunch, we're going to put it under. You've got to spread it on nice and thick so later on you can kind of smooth it out. This is going to take multiple, uh, multiple shots to get it perfect. Or as close to perfect as I'll be able to get it anyway. So the first thing you want to do... So to spread it out like that. All right, that should be good for that piece. Now, we're gonna to wanna to take some tape. We're gonna tape the tape and you're gonna literally put it right like that. Lay it right in there like that. Then we're going to take a little more joint compound. You want to push it down like that and you want to roll over it. Now, you kind of want to do this in one shot if you can. And just leave it be. I'm going to try and, I got a little bubble in it, so I'm going to see, again, this is what I mean by trial and error. I'm going to go like that and let it sit. So that's going to be my first shot for that one. Next one I'm going to do is I'm only going to tape it up to here. same thing you want to make sure there's going to be a good amount of joint compound underneath you're going to want to put it on put a little joint compound on your knife again start from one side and just sort of go over like that I'm going to take off the excess for now we're going to deal with that on layer two Make sure you have a drop cloth down. Okay. So that'll kind of do that. All right. Now I got to do the same thing for these other pieces. this sparing you want to actually use a bunch of this because you want it to hold this is what's going to hold that tape in there and solidify it so you want to make sure you get a good amount underneath you want to fill these cracks or the gaps with it here to make sure that I have enough to hold it. We'll squeeze it out when I put the tape on. Okay, so that looks pretty good there. Get a little more here in this corner. Tape you can really just rip off because it doesn't need to be perfect. 
where it ends doesn't really matter. You'll be going over it anyway. The idea later is that you don't really see the tape. So we have that there. Let's do this piece as well. Actually, what I also want to do is there's a little, a little piece hanging up in here. I want to get some. joint compound on the corner of my knife. I want to actually stuff it in here to stick that piece back up for later. Hopefully we can get that to hold. It's a little bit like playing in the mud when you're a kid. I think that looks pretty good actually. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do another piece right there, which is actually going to be a corner piece. I guess I'll show you that too. So you get some idea how to do a corner. Corners are a little bit tough. They actually make tools if you're doing a lot of corners or big corners, but something like this really. You just use your knife both ways like that. This one is do slightly different. This one is actually a bend here. These are made to do corners. So what you're actually going to do is I'm going to bend it like that. And that's going to be my corner when I'm done. But this can't hang over. So actually, I'm going to move that down like that. So I'm right at the corner. You, this you want to be as clean of a corner as possible. So, we'll do that. Okay, you don't want to mess with it too much. You want to let it dry, and then after the first layer, you can start messing with it a bit. But that's basically it for our first layer. I just gotta let it dry. Okay, it's been a few hours since I put on the first layer. And it could use probably a little bit more time to dry. But I'm trying to get this done. I'd like to paint it sometime tomorrow. But the, these pieces, you can kind of just scrape them off. That much less you'd have to sand later. try and get some of this done so I'm going to put a second layer on Let's try and use a wider knife and see how we do the idea is supposed to be to feather it out the more you feather it blends it. So that's what we're going to try and do.
Let's get a little on there. Same thing, we're gonna try and feather it a bit. That actually looks pretty good. I got everything covered and kind of feathered. Even though you see these pieces here, I don't want to mess with it too much. I can clean those up when everything dries up. I think with this, I should be able to do one more coat to kind of clean it all up. And I think I should be in good shape. Let's cover this nail hole. Okay, I think that's it for now. Hopefully final coat after this I should just have to sand it down a bit This is where if you have a bigger knife It'll really come in handy because you're supposed to feather it out even more I have a knife that's I have a plastic one that's slightly wider than my other one But they make ones that are really wide so if you have one of those you can use it But the idea is supposed to be now to feather it out and smooth it as much as possible then do a sanding and then paint it up it looks pretty decent I mean um after we get this one done I'm going to try and make this as smooth as possible now and then um we'll sand it up you won't really know until you paint exactly how it looks but it's coming out pretty good I think and thin but the farther the farther out you go the better it looks to the eye so that's the idea like I said I'm no expert at this at all just over the years some trial and error of getting this all done I'm going to spread some out and then I'll play around with it. Like being a kid playing in the mud.
when you do this, if you put too much on, not as you're putting it on, but afterwards, you could always, you know, you're always able to sand it. The only thing is the more you put on, well, the more you put on it, if it looks uneven, the more you're going to have to sand. And the idea is you want to make as little mess as possible, obviously, and as little work for yourself. But the same thing, don't kill yourself, because everything could kind of be corrected. Just doing kind of broad strokes, making it look mostly even. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to just take this and zoom you in a little bit just so you can see what I did. That looks pretty good to me. So now I'm really just going to let this dry and sand it. And hopefully I won't have to sand too much and then I'm going to paint it and prime it and I think I'll be in pretty good shape. So. This is this part of it, you know, um, let's see, I'll show you guys when, uh, as I do a little bit of sanding, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so here I am, and, um, I'm pretty much ready to put some primer on this. Uh, all I'm gonna really do is a very light sand, it actually looks pretty good when I look at it. So I'm just going to take a sanding block and I'm going to do a little bit of sanding. Get rid of any rough spots and a couple of minor blemishes. But I got to say, all in all, it came out pretty good. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit it a little bit with the sandpaper. Uh, and I'm going to cover it with some primer. And then once that dries, I will paint it. Um, but it looks pretty good. I think I'm in good shape. Anyway, good luck with your project.